My name is Kristen Baumgartner, and I'm with Baracus Blum Computer Consulting. Today, I'll be reviewing some of the new features in Stage 100 version 2023. Baracus Blum Computer Consulting has been selling and implementing Sage products for over 30 years and is one of the top Sage 100 solution providers in the country. Looking at our Sage 100 2023 install, you'll notice a few changes that have already presented on our desktop. There is a new Sage 100 Information Center page that's been added that provides dynamic content and announcements. Sage has also added a recent tab where you are able to see tasks that have been accessed from the file menu, home tab, web content tab, and modules tab. To control how many are displayed, if we go over to our view tab, this is where we can dictate how many we would like to see. If we wanted to remove this completely, if we right click on our ribbon, we are able to remove show recents within the ribbon. Sage has also added tool tips where if we hover over any of these tasks, it will show us where the tasks are located within our Sage environment. Global changes have also been created in our 2023 version. There's new functionalities to select serial numbers by range. You're allowed to select by range instead of scrolling through a list to find the starting and ending serial numbers. And this enhancement is carried throughout the following modules, bill of materials, inventory management, purchase order, production management, return mer merchandise authorization, and sales order. Using the example of sales order in invoice data entry and an existing invoice that I have, when I go to my lines and I ship those items, I get my distribution for my serialized products. When I go into my distribution grid, I am able to distribute them one at a time in our traditional sense, but I now have this icon that allows me to select serial numbers by range. When I use this functionality, I can choose that starting serial number along with my ending serial number. And when I hit select and populate this list to review, when I say okay, it will automatically distribute those serials for me. In accounts payable, a new functionality to mask 1099 vendor taxpayer IDs and to mask ACH bank account information and routing numbers is, has been added. This is controlled in our role maintenance. When we go to role maintenance and I'm looking at my administrator role, in our security options under accounts payable, this is where we can choose by role to enable this highly sensitive editing and viewing of information or restrict this to our Sage 100 users. Also in accounts payable under check printing and electronic registers, Invoice payment selection has been changed and updated. When I go to invoice selection, here, when I'm choosing which invoices I would like to pay and I hit select, I'm now able to use a simple checkbox to include which invoices I would like to add. In inventory management, in our setup options, we also now have the availability to choose to display or hide in active warehouses, and display or hide zero quantities for lot serial items in cost detail. A show hide interactive warehouse button has been added to the main tab on item maintenance and item inquiry, quantity tab on item maintenance and item inquiry, reorder maintenance, and item quantity inquiry. Here, if we look at item maintenance, I have pulled up an item where I have quantity available in my active warehouse and zero quantity on hand in my active inactive warehouse. Using this new toggle button, this is how I'm able to show or hide that information. This button also exists in our cost detail. If we wish to hide or display our information regarding our lot and serial zero quantity on hand information. A new functionality in IM Utilities has also been added. If I go to Inventory Management under my Utilities module, we now have the ability to remove inactive items as a utility. This task has been added, and after running this utility, the activity log is updated with a list of inactive items that have been removed. Many changes have been made within Production Management. We now have enhanced scheduling in Sage 2023. The enhanced scheduling features have been added throughout the production management modules, and they provide with more flexibility and functionality within PM. 
under our production management and our setup options, we now have a scheduling tab that allows us to control this information. You can select the Enable Enhanced Scheduling checkbox to use the forward or backward scheduling method to schedule work tickets. Enhanced scheduling is the functionality that was previously available in the work order module. If you prefer to use basic scheduling, you can clear the Enable Enhanced Scheduling checkbox. And this basic scheduling is the functionality that was in previous releases of production management. There are also additional scheduling options that have been added to activity code maintenance, work ticket template maintenance, work center maintenance, work ticket entry, work ticket history inquiry, work center capacity inquiry, and a new scheduled capacity report has also been added with this additional functionality. If we look at an existing work ticket, when I go into my work ticket entry, this is one of the places that we can see that changed functionality within our system. On my scheduling tab, I now have the ability to choose to manually schedule, but if I choose to uncheck that checkbox, I can use the scheduling button to do so. Here, if I wanted to schedule for a different date to start my production, and I can choose a forward or backward scheduling methodology, when I choose calculate schedule, it will give me my new calculated start and due date, and when I apply those changes, it will update my work ticket. In work ticket transaction entry, there have also been improvements in the material issuing process. In work ticket transaction entry, when creating a materials transaction, you can now import available material lines with remaining quantities to issue in bulk to the lines tab. This enhancement speeds up data entry. Creating a new transaction number and choosing a material transaction You now have the ability to select all available material lines, or you can use the new material selection window to select specific materials to the to issue. The material selection button has been added on the work ticket transaction entry lines tab to open the material selection window. In work ticket entry, when I'm reviewing a work ticket, I also now have the ability to relieve WIP based on percentage complete. The relieve WIP based on percentage complete checkbox has been added to the work ticket entry header tab and the work ticket class maintenance main tab. Selecting this checkbox to use the prorated cost for WIP when entering a partial completion in the work ticket transaction entry. We also have the ability to explode bill subassemblies. This has been replaced, this has replaced the checkbox that was previously available. When the Bill of Materials module is integrated with production management and enhanced scheduling is used, selecting yes at the explode bill assemblies field now creates work ticket steps for each subassembly on a multi-level bill. This functionality was in the work order module previously and has now been added to production management. We also have the ability to explode template subassemblies. In work ticket entry, the explode template subassemblies field has been added providing the ability to explode subassemblies defined on a work ticket template when enhanced scheduling is used. On the materials tab, we now have a new button that allows us to recalculate the materials budget as well. And when entering a brand new work ticket, we have a copy from option that's been added for the production start date. This has been added to simplify the process of copying a manually scheduled work ticket. During the copy process, the system will calculate the number of days between the start date entered here and the source work ticket start date. The difference between the dates will be used to automatically adjust all of the scheduling dates in the source work ticket steps as they are copied. Production management also allows us in our setup options, when I go to my entry tab, in production management options, a new option has been added in production management that enables you to create work tickets using the materials from the bill, the work ticket template, both the bill and the template, or you can select to be prompted with a message in work ticket entry asking which materials to use. Additional changes in production management include you can now add scrap percentage for each item on the materials tab, 
In labor entry, if you're capturing punch in and out times for an employee and the payroll module is integrated with production management, you can now select a department worked in at the department number field that's different than the employee's assigned department in payroll employee maintenance. When you update the payroll check register, the department worked in and its general ledger accounts will be used instead of the employee's assigned department. Also, activity codes and work centers can now be added on the fly when you have appropriate security in role maintenance. Additional changes have also been made within the IRP module. When we are looking at our IRP generation, the following fields have been added, providing more options in this process. Effective date field, include sales quotes checkbox, explode make action field, create work ticket with materials from field, default lead time days, default build time and days, advanced arrival allowance. And if the inventory requirements planning module is not integrated with production management or purchase order, you are still now able to click on the production or purchase buttons to view a report of inventory demand. When we do generate an IRP, and we look at our production information, we now have expanded summary and detail information. When I look at one of my filters, I can you now choose items with pending actions, and when reviewing the details for this particular item, I'm now able to see those actions pulled within my detailed list. After IRP has been generated, there is now an IRP planning inquiry. This has been added to use this task to purchase or production information for an item based on the last completed IRP generation process. So again, we're based on that information I was just looking at for my board, I can see all of this detailed information without having to run another IRP report. This is based on the current information that's been run. IRP has also added several new reports. Under our reports menu, we now have the projected demands report, inventory requirements planning report. For those of you using MRP historically, this is very close to the MRP report, action by vendor report, work ticket and sales order demand reports. In Sage 100 2023, there have been numerous updates and for a full list of changes, please visit our website. If you go to v-bcc.com, look at our resources tab and our product brochures. Under our Sage upgrade documents, we do have a full listing of all version changes for all recent Sage releases. This video has covered the basics of what's new in Sage 100 version 2023. Thank you for your time today. And if you have any additional questions on Sage 100 functionality, please reach out to the Varakis Blum computer consulting team.